Hello everybody, my name is Andreas Fleischmann and I want to guide you through your first steps with Elevator Architect. For better visibility we have a very basic model with four floors. The Elevator Architect buttons will be found in the ribbon under Add-ins. Inside Elevator Architect you must choose the target region and display unit. On the left hand click on DigiPara Solution Suggester. The new project screen appears, enter your data and click Next. This next screen is only available in Europe, choose Manual Solution Modeling. After clicking Next, the selected elevator will be shown as current solution, in this case a similar corner solution. Click on Refresh All to update your drawing. Close the Elevator Architect dialog box. In the 3D view you can see that an elevator model has been added to your building. There is a coordinate system symbol in the left bottom corner of the shaft. Move this symbol to move and rotate the elevator. You need to click on Refresh Elevators to update the elevator model and location. Click on Requirements to show them. Every elevator might have different requirements. Change them and the selected elevator is updated accordingly. Elevator Architect knows around 50,000 different combinations of elevators. You might also add a rear service. By clicking on Refresh Elevators, the elevator model gets updated. On the drawing, Elevator Architect supports two different detail levels. If you need a car group, you can easily add an elevator by copying an existing one. Every elevator might have different floor services. If you move a floor, click on Refresh Elevators to update the model. In case you add or remove a floor, the process is the same. You can choose an elevator from a different manufacturer by choosing Compare Vendors. So far, the elevator data have not been certified by the elevator companies. Therefore, all elevators are displayed as similar. Simply make another solution the current one and click on Refresh Elevators. The Settings view allows you to influence the refresh settings. By default, all checkboxes are checked. Unchecked items are no more refreshed by Elevator Architect and might be helpful in some cases. I hope you now have a basic understanding how it works. We are happy to hear from you. Send us feedback to support at ggpara.com.